G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is a Blade Runner shotgun. This is a barely customizable standalone double barrel shotgun type weapon using double barrel shotgun animations. Mods that'll change that animation will change this one, and it works pretty well. I've got the Battlefield 1 animations happening right now, and it also has custom sounds. So, yeah, looking at this thing, you can definitely tell it's from Blade Runner. It's got that aesthetic, same as that gun. So, yes, a very good looking weapon. The meshes and textures look absolutely great. If this is a rip or a custom mesh, this is a really good job either way. I don't really know. Anyways, so the customization, you can't do anything with the barrel or the stock. There's a legendary effect if you need it, but right now I've just got the basic receiver. 12 gauge shells, which does 402 damage, which is still a lot. It's heaps more than you get out of your standard vanilla stuff. So even with this, it's actually powerful enough to probably be viable in the end game, provided you can get up close and personal. There's also explosive shells, and if you're familiar with this game, explosive shotguns are absurd. So that does even more damage, and a little bit of incendiary damage, and it also runs on 10R explosive shells, which uh, we'll get to crafting in a second, but yeah, that is an option. Also got incendiary damage, which the game is not programmed to give anyone resistance to. It's either energy or ballistic, so that's an extra 28 damage, 14 for me, because I'm playing on very hard difficulty. And this one, the neutron cells, adds a little bit of radiation damage too, even more damage, a little bit of energy damage too. And yeah, so we're going to be trying out all of these receivers under this thing. We're going to be crafting three, which is kind of easy. All you need to do is find the Blade Runner in your chemistry station, and then you can craft the Blade Runner shotgun for double barrel shotguns and a few things here and there, which is pretty good. So we'll craft two of those things to get all of these uh, ammo types working, and this is what it will require. A couple of perks, also we didn't go over perks here, so it's locked up at Gunnut Rank 2 and Blacksmith 1, so a little bit of perks need to go into this, but all in all it's pretty good I suppose neutron cell so this is the one's going to be firing the neutron shells which are kind of interesting because you notice it's got a charge here like fusion cores you do get multiple shots per reload with this way because yeah i guess it makes it nice and futuristic so we can craft a few of those i guess all right we'll get into some gameplay Alrighty, here we are in Human NPCs Plaza, and this is our shotgun in first person using the Battlefield 1 animations, as I said, but that's basically what it's going to be looking like for you, even with vanilla animations. So that's what the standard one looks like. If we switch over to the um, explosive one, it's got these cool muzzle brakes on the end or whatever. And uh, the Neutron one has a little bit of little gamma rounds there, but they look like tiny little fusion cells. That's kind of cool, but we'll get started with the basic one. And just to add insult to injury, we'll go and get the sneak attack critical on the first guy. Why not add a critical to that instead? There you go. Easy kill there. And now we're in danger, but this thing should be too bad when it comes to dealing the damage because we've got 402 damage. So it's definitely not a drag to use. If I was using like an advanced received uh, double barrel shotgun, it would not be doing nearly as much damage as this. And killing Tyros down like that is actually pretty good for a shotgun. But yes, with the damage resistance they do get from me being on very hard difficulty, it's not the most effective weapon, even at this range it's starting to drop off so slightly. But we'll clear out the first room with just this one. Also the sounds, I should shut up for a second so you can listen to them. They kind of sound like they were recorded from the movie itself. They might have been. We'll go for a bash animation on you. Okay, at least that was funny, I guess. And we'll move over to our explosive one. This thing should be absurd, so it's probably overkill killing that guy with it. And you'll notice that we've got three more in the chamber before we have to reload, which is kind of cool. And it's got this cool muzzle flash on it, but sometimes this weapon likes to... Did I just one-shot Captain Bridget? Was that her? It might have been. Yeah, this thing is absolutely ludicrously overpowered compared to the other one, but I guess that's what it's like. There's Captain Bridget. Can I one-shot her? Possibly. Yep, that'll do it. And ragdoll a few things around. Perfect, okay. This one is definitely for when we get into a bad situation, need a lot of damage quickly. We'll move over to the energy variant of this, the neuron one. And you'll notice if you're watching the ammo thing, oh, that is blood. I've got gore disabled, so this thing is still producing blood, which is odd. There's like a red, red explosion to it too, that's so weird. Yeah, I've had gore off for ages in this game. Usually I did it for like, not censorship purposes, but performance purposes. I could probably bring it back using my Titan because I'm running a GTX 1080 now. But as you can tell, the energy variant of this isn't quite as scary. 
overpowered as the explosive one. It's a little bit more on the tame side. How did I miss on a critical? Is this thing not hidden bats? It totally doesn't hidden bats. Also, if you click too fast, you get yourself into an animation where it keeps on firing, but you don't actually fire. There's like a limit to your rate of fire up if it's not supported by the animation. And that's not because of this thing's uh, Battlefield 1 animations, it's actually because um, this thing is just weird. There's like a trigger delay on this thing. You can do it with Fat Mans in this game too as well. It's kind of strange, but not in third person though. Third person doesn't have that um, catapult slinging. The, the mini nuke just sort of flies out. I'm guessing you won't be able to trigger that nonsense when you're in third person. No, you can fire this pretty much as fast as you can. Okay, not lacking the neuron one, the neutron one. That one kind of sucks. Have a stim pack. Let's get the hell out of here. I missed another guy. Hold on. I think it is you who is seriously fucked. Open wide, motherfucker. Teach you to swear at me. Alright, we can move on to some monsters now. Alrighty, so here we are with our explosive one. I'm gonna see if we can use this thing as a sniper. Not on that scavenger though, I'll spare him... him his life today. I think it's a bloke. Never mind, okay. So how accurate is this thing when we uh, sneak and snipe with it? Good enough. Good enough to ragdoll them, so, you know, that's cool. And I jumped there, expecting my Mugu to leap me forward into the air. No, not in this game. Okay. So, yeah, we can do pretty good. But they're only squishy raider veterans. Sure, they're top-tier raiders, but they're not really too much of a problem. We've got bears around here somewhere, I think. There it is. We can one-shot the bear with a sneak attack critical, which is even more overkill, but we're gonna keep going anyway. Maybe... Maybe it's a little bit too much overkill. I'm gonna snipe away these guys. Man. Man, imagine shotguns like this in Fallout 3. Like a, a combat shotgun with explosive shells like this. It's so good. No. There was nothing like that in that game, though. Alright. Let's see what this uh, energy one can do. It can blow up that guy. Is it just me or do the Super Mutants look a little bit better in this game than they do in Fallout 76? I don't really know. So we definitely know we can't hit these guys and um, hit that. But we can use it to grind criticals up, right? You'll notice if I open this thing up in bats again that it uses barely any action points at all. I can max it out and I'm not even using a third of my health. I basically a weapon that allows you to take critical. It's a bit of a shame that it doesn't work in bats. Okay, five criticals. Alright, how does this thing go with the bats? It's actually less. That's a thing. Okay, looks like we're doing the old gun through here with a shotgun. Oh man, these super mutants are so boned. Okay, critical away. Kills you. You're very dead. Next critical, we've got Grim Reaper Sprint happening, so have somewhat of a full AP bar before we, oh, and when we exit bats, we'll probably have a full one now that we've leveled up, but this is ridiculous, isn't it? I think some balancing changes need to be made, but if it's just a cheat weapon that's supposed to be ludicrously overpowered, then I get it. Maybe you're only supposed to use this thing in situations where you don't have a lot of resources, so you can't craft these things. Honestly, it feels kind of like I'm cheating right now. Yeah, okay. Is there any super mutants left? Let's switch over back to our buckshot and use this thing in a more conventional sense. There might be only the doggo and the dude in the bus left, though, so... Yeah, so he's only a brute. We can shoot him in the face and kill him one. Yes, we can. And he'll lag the game out out of frustration. God damn it. I need, I've been looking online for a fix to that shit. People have been getting the issue. No one knows how to fix it. I just have to change the video settings somehow. Maybe I'll tweak down some of the stuff that you can't see. Reduce the long range distance of things so we don't have to worry about that. Alright, so there's Gerald over there doing his thing, probably killing a whole lot of gunners. 
So let's go ahead and try to take him out. If um, he does a lot more damage to me than I'm expecting, I'll just press the panic button and switch to my explosive one. But, oh, you still get so many shots with this thing. This thing is, like, optimized for that, is it? Is that its futuristic characteristics? It's compatible with the firmware in your brain, I guess, because you can use VATS. You can use VATS even before you have a Pip-Boy to be super compatible with the VATS. Is it like an energy weapon? I don't really know. It's probably just an oversight by the mod author there. It's definitely a cheat weapon sounding thing, that's for sure. I guess we could use this as a cinematic tool for getting lots of cinematic shots against Gerald here. So it works in that sense. And if you're complaining about not being able to hear the fucking sound, you've heard it plenty of times. Oh yeah. We totally just minced that guy. Is that like 165 damage something like that? Yeah, look how much damage that is. Alright, time to give this one a shot. Oops, don't click too fast. You'll end up having a fucking Z. -box. Show her a little bit of restraint. Also, can I snipe this guy? Kinda, I guess. Um, explosive rounds aren't actually. You could probably try to keep me over the gun right now. I'm just gonna shut my mouth and you can watch this thing and. Oh, wait, you can still ag actually make that whole thing when you're in third person too, so I was wrong with that. Okay, I think we've let this go on for long enough. Let's just finish these guys off. I think I can call it a video there. Yep, I think you get the point of this thing. It's an overpowered weapon. If you're a fan of the Blade Runner franchise movie or whatever, then yeah, pick this up if you feel like it. If you want a good little compliment to that gun, because there's mods for that too. You can have like a Blade Runner build if you're that into role playing in this game, but yeah. It's a nice option for you to have, so link will be in the description if you want it. And if you'd like to see this particular outfit in your game, I'll chuck a link to that one as well. It's called Shino Vault Suit. There's a lot more to do with it than just this. This is a pretty tame version. There's ones where it's unzipped right down to the bottom there, which obviously I'm not going to show off for uh, channel being censored purposes. But it's there if you want it. You can, you can do it in your own time or whatever. Thank you for watching, guys.